These exercises, with their undercurrent of religious significance, under the watchful eye of Mr. Ueshiba, make me realize that there is a relationship between the mind, the soul, and the body, and that the mysticism underlying Aikido does serve a useful purpose. Herman and I have been studying seven hours a day for the past ten days. And now it is time for us to begin our training in the techniques. This is known as training in kata, or form. I am told to attack my instructor. He uses an application of the forearm turn. Although I outweigh him by 50 pounds, I find myself on the mat, thrown without force. Now it's my turn, and I enjoy it. But it doesn't last for long. This time, it's a reverse handhold that upsets my apple cart. He shows me how easily this is done and what an important part balance plays in the whole operation. If someone grabs your wrist, you'll know what to do. I start him one way, and then being off balance, down he goes. I suggest you don't practice any of this at home without an instructor. Too forceful an application of pressures will snap an arm, a wrist, or a leg. He makes it look so easy, too. Herman is still skeptical about Aikido in a rough and tumble. His instructor agrees to operate on the principle of gentleness, weighing 126 pounds to Herman's 190. This could be fun. Somehow or other, Herman can't get his hands on him. Down he goes. In spite of the weight advantage and the disinclination of the instructor to use the more deadly techniques, Herman can't handle him. Notice the perfect balance of the instructor and how he forces Herman always to be the aggressor. Now he decides the time has come to exercise control, and he does. Herman is totally helpless, held there by the pressures of a single thumb. Herman is convinced. Mr. Ueshiba has graciously consented to show us some of the fine points of Aikido. He asked that this stick be used only for his protection and not to injure anyone. These are the more advanced exercises and I doubt very much that I will ever learn them.
Now he salutes his instructors and prepares for the demonstration. And what a demonstration it is. Now two. This is what I call balance. Now the stick. This is our frail old man. His strength is truly as the strength of ten. Mr. Ueshiba does me the honor of climaxing my apprenticeship in Aikido by demonstrating his technique with me. This is the master at work, and I wish Herman weren't enjoying it quite so much. I'm sure that the training I'm getting here will someday come in handy on another rendezvous with adventure.